Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to what I think is a really interesting article. It's by Sandoval et al., and it's from one of the most uh, scientifically advanced centers in the study of troponin as a marker for myocardial ischemia uh, in the Minneapolis um, at the University of Minnesota. The senior author is uh, Frederick Apple, who's one of the best-known troponin research uh, investigators in the world. Uh, this article confirms what has been talked about from Europe for a while, and that is when patients come to the emergency room with chest discomfort, uh, a single negative troponin combined with a normal electrocardiogram rules out ischemic heart disease in just about 100% of patients, just slightly less. So this is going to be a real boom once the high sensitivity troponin tests spread in the U.S. The first one has been approved. It's a troponin T test by Roche. Uh, the test used by Apple's group was a troponin I test, but I'm expecting a, a number of tests uh, using the I troponin will be approved by the FDA in the very near future, and then hospitals are going to have to figure out how to use them. Uh, but once that's, uh, that dust settles, this is going to be a very, very useful test to help us send a number of patients home without admitting them to the coronary care unit. So uh, we're going to match the rest of the world. Europe has been using these high sensitivity troponins for many, many years. Uh, and now uh, the United States is going to have the same test. Thanks for, so much for reading the American Journal of Medicine. Please take a look at our blog and our website. Uh, we're also available on Twitter and Facebook uh, for those of you that prefer following us that way.